Hello everyone. I will be doing a reading for Lady Focus and I'm going to be using the Central Wicca Tarot deck. Okay, very nice deck. And I'm going to be doing um, a career reading for her. She basically wants to know um, where her career is headed and she's going to be doing some astrology. Um, astrology teaching and she would like to know where is that headed, if that's a good choice, if that's how is that going to turn out basically. I like to shuffle them really, really good to get a very good reading, so. It takes me a little bit longer, but I feel it's more accurate. Okay, so I'm going to pick out, she has several questions. I'm going to just fan them out like this and just basically um, try to get three cards per each question. So, the first question she had was, um, Regarding um, her astrology teachings, if that, how is that going to turn out, basically? So I'm going to pick out three cards for that question. Okay. Um, regarding also marriage, she wants to know uh, when her boyfriend will uh, make the proposition of marriage. When will that turn out? So I'm going to pick out three as well for that question. And she had, um, I think that's basically all the questions that she had. Oh, she had a question regarding a circle, um, which she's planning to do a gathering. She wants to know how that's going to turn out. So I'm going to pick up three more for that, for that question. So let's begin with the first three that we got, okay? I'm going to put them right here. Um, the first three were basically um, how the astrology teachings are going to turn out to be. How is that going to pan out? Um, we have the Queen of Wands in reverse. We have the Lovers in reverse. And we have the, this is the Ten of Swords upright. Okay. Um, it looks like you're not going to have any obstacles because I got two no's and one yes. So there's no obstacles. That's very good. Um, and basically, there's going to be some endings. Basically, when I, when I see a 10 in general, it doesn't matter what suit, 10 are always endings, okay, and a new beginning. So you're going to end something prior for you to start your astro. You need to end something in order for this to begin. Um, that's what it's basically saying, okay? Um, and you got the lover's card in reverse which there's going to be some kind of minor obstacles um, in trying to implement that the, the, the classes that you want to do. Um, there's going to be some, um, either there's something that has to end because the Ten of Swords comes out here, um, that you need to like end something, or it's not going to go through as you want it to. That's what it's basically saying. Um, we have also the Queen of Wands, which Queen of Wands are always very career career um, based cards um, deck. And so this one is basically saying that there's going to be a strong force, okay, that is going to try to not let you go forward with that. Um, however, it, you have some control on this event, so you have a lot of control actually. 
um, and you need to end something. There's a lot of resistance for you to implement that that you want to do with regarding uh, teachings and um, regarding your career. There has been some resistance. You have encountered some difficulties already, um, especially in the month um, between June and now in October. I, I see there has been and there's going to be some minor resistance or some kind of obstacle, especially having to do with a woman. Um, regarding that, uh, you've had some issues. But it's saying that you will go forward. If, if you know, It all depends also in your and how much you pursue it and how persistent you are. But there definitely has to be some kind of endings with some woman, woman here um, because she, maybe she's showing you something that she's not and that energy that she, that she has towards you and regarding your, your teachings are not very, you know, very positive. So that I see here some minor, op in conclusion to this question, I see some minor obstacles, okay, um, that you need to overcome in order for that to be fulfilled the way you want it to. But it, it's going to go through a little bit with difficulties, but it, it can be done, okay? So that's the answer to that question. And watch out for a woman here that's maybe helping you with through the process that doesn't have the best energies for that. Uh, the next question was regarding marriage and when will you get married. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. We have the Judgment in reverse. And we have the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. We do have two Sixes, which Sixes are always harmony. And between you and this person, I see a very strong connection with regarding harmony and wanting to have a family uh, together. So, um... Basically, that's what I'm getting out of that. Now, regarding the Six of Wands uh, in reverse, there is a little bit of not, there, there is either one of you that's not as focused into the mar marriage uh, situation as much as the other. Um, like, a little bit scattered. Like, that's not right now. And they want it long term, but not at this moment. Um, so, basically, right now, either one of you are not wanting to get married at this moment. Um, the, the Six of Cups in reverse is basically telling me that there's either one of you that's holding on to the past a lot. Um, I don't know in regards to what it specifically. It could be maybe to leaving family back in, at, at home uh, or something regarding the past. It doesn't necessarily have to be a person that this person was involved with in a romantic relationship, it could be in anything regarding the past. So either one of you are very involved with the past. And I see more it's your boyfriend, because I see a man here in this card in reverse. So I see more of him being the one that's being a little bit resistant in getting into a marriage right now. Regarding, ha he's, he's having a hard time in letting go of something regarding the past. Okay? Um... Now, I have the judgment in reverse, and it's also talking about procrastination and resistance again. So, right now, um, I don't see marriage right now within the next 12 months, okay? That's what the card is saying. And, but I do see that there is going to be marriage um, eventually. That there's two sixes, um, basically, and the, the sixes are always good. Um, sixes are one of the best numbers because it's always harmony and um, always indicates success in a general matter, okay? But um, in general, we have, let me see something. Three, three, one. There has been some minor issues between you both. Um, because I do see a general number of five here. And how do I know that? Because I added both sixes and, and a 20. Two plus three is a five. So five is always conflicts. There has been some issues. And there, there is, I mean, I see you very compatible and I see you very into each other. But I do see some minor conflicts and things that you need to get over in order for this to go through. Right now, I don't see marriage um, at this point going forward, like in the next 12 months. I don't see it right now in the cards at the, as of this moment. You know the cards change from day to day, so maybe coming next month, things might change. But as of right now, it's a little bit uh, not showing me that it's going to go through at this moment. Let me continue in part two of my next video because I'm running out of time.